How do you folks? Ron Grovis from Ron's Beers and Tools. I got a beer to showcase for you today. I'll be reviewing this Melvin's Hubert IPA, as you can see in front of you. It's uh, 6% ABV by volume, and uh, it's not bad. I couldn't get the IBUs on it. It's basically a, a, a Indian Pale Ale. They call it a Melvin Pale Ale, but uh, basically an Indian Pale Ale. And uh, let's look at the can a little and see. It says if your beer is not madness, it's not beer. <laughs> and they were saying that on their web page. It's quite the web page, quite the names for their brews. It's quite the can. Nice colors to it. Don't hate party. That's nice. Some got some words here. Uh, if you need a little light on the subject here. All right, we can see. Uh, that was really bright. Dear enjoyer, Hubert, if I did not know you better, I might thank you for take you for an IPA. So, all right, thank you for the light. They're a little bit too bright, but thank you for the light. Uh, okay, I see. Uh, well, if you can uh, pause that, you can read that. It basically says about this this Hubert you, you, <laughs> beer uh, from Melvin. You should pause it and uh, read what it says. It won't take much time on this. I want to do a, try to do a quick one. But there, this brewery is uh, appears to be a nice brewery out there in Wyoming. Not Wisconsin, as I was saying. I was doing a, um Yesterday it was snowing, and I wanted to do an outside interview. Interview. Correction. Beer review. On this, it's Brother Beer, Jesus, Mexican style lager. And uh, it was snowing, it was just too cold and uh, too much snow coming down to do the review. But I was calling this the brewery, Melvin Brewery, Wisconsin. And I'm sorry for that. It's Wyoming. It's actually Alpine, Wyoming. And I'm going to give you the address on that. Should you want to go visit it if you're close to by there, uh, it's in uh, on 624 County Road. 101 Alpine, Wyoming. Again, 624 County Road, 101 Alpine, Wyoming. The phone number there, should you call first, you make sure it's open, 307-654-0427. That's the phone number. Like I said, you can always pause this in uh, any part of it that I'm showing. Uh, I'll, I'll try to put the number up on the, when I edit this and... Uh, you can pause it to see it. Uh, this Hubert MP, like I said, is a 6% IPA. And it's uh, 6% ABV. Uh, let's see how it really uh, looks in the glass. So let's uh, no further. Let's get a glass. And, uh, and we'll talk about got the glass here. From, uh, oh, it's clean. It's just, uh, this is clean. Uh, Mary Mac Ales up there in Lowell, Massachusetts. Remember, 11 wife visited in uh Talked to Mr. Pearson, the owner, and he gave us that glass. And nice brewery up there in Lowell. Small, but it's nice. Pours nice. I mean, it's not uh, too fraughty of a head. Nice white head on it. Get that. Oh, I'm getting the aromas right here already. From back here, I'm getting the aromas. Oh, that's a nice looking. Beer, it's hazy, a little bit of haziness to it. It's medium, kind of golden, that weirdish color. Uh, definitely a white foam head. Let's get the drone up. Oh, looks, oh, looks nice. Nice. It looks it's starting to look creamy. Yeah, and the edges are starting to look creamy. And the bubbles. Kind of misgiving on when we've seen a couple of big ones, but they're all small bubbles per se. It's a good looking uh, white head on it. Get the drone back. Okay. Houston. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that was a good uh, good looking brew. This aroma I, I, I kind of picked up, but kind of like a, a sweet citrusy. Um, aroma that I got from behind the camera here, and uh, it, it, it 
kind of is strong maybe. Uh, let's get a nose to it. Oh, the hoppiness is sweet. Sweet citrusy piney floral. Oh, the aromas emanate out of this are nice, real nice. Really nice, uh, uh, some uh, kind of like uh, tropical fruit, pineapple, a little bit of crackery, uh, sweet malt, that pot, piney floral. Nice smelling. This is truly, truly a nice, nice smelling brew. It's uh, it's an IPA, so we're going to get the hoppiness on it. I wish I get the IPA, the um, you know, bid units on this, but uh, they didn't list, list it. I couldn't find the info on it. Let's get this up here and make a, a nice couple up there. The can and the brew. Uh, that is that is a good looking beer. That really is a good looking one. All right, no further ado. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Oh, the taste. Mmm. I'm definitely, <laughs> I have to admit, it comes out that mango, pineapple. It's not cloyingly sweet. It's a uh, touch of bitterness. The biscuity malt. Tropical fruit. Excuse my lips smacking and my slurping. Mm, mm. It is a good, good, flavorful beer. Uh, I think it's coming across as uh, kind of uh, really a, a, a tropical fruitiness to it. It's an IPA, but it's not overbearing on their hops. Um, it's like a touch of bitterness at the end, uh, and the finish as it goes down, uh, not leaving a, a bitterness at all in the mouth. Uh, Getting, like I say, getting malty and a little bit of that biscuity, but the flavor is so balanced in this this fine brew. This is a a very good tasting beer. I like this IPA. I'm not like big on IPAs. They're overly hoppiness sometimes. Sometimes I get the urge to have a hoppy beer, and uh, I'll pick one up. I'll pick up by that Narragansett IPA or some of the other IPA, particularly the Trillium brews that have the uh, Juice bombs, oh, those are really good. Those are delicious, actually. This is and this is just as good. This is delicious. It has a haziness, but it doesn't have that same. It has somewhat of a color of the trilliums, um, the juice bombs we have in New England, New England juice bombs. This has its own flavor, and it's very flavorful. It's drinkable. I could say, it's it's kind of. Finish is a little dry, but that's not a bad thing. That's actually a, a good thing. Uh, get, some, get a nice view of this can. That's a nice can. Remember, it's Alpine, Wyoming. <laughs> it's an ale. Melvin Brewing. In Wyoming, Alpine, Wyoming. All right, uh, I'll finish this up by saying, uh, taste-wise, it is very drinkable, well-balanced. You get a touch of, touch of bitterness, but you get maltiness in that, that biscuity. Uh, and definitely, first mouthful is mango slash pineapple. Maybe even, uh, if I'm drinking it now, Apricot, a peachness, a little apricot peachness, sweetness, that kind of sweet from apricot, uh, peaches. Uh, it's definitely tropical fruit. Also, nothing is overbearing. Nothing is overbearing. The hops aren't overbearing. Mm. It would be nice to know the, the hops that were in this brew here. It's the, they're nice. They balance well with the, the malt. Uh, uh, Co-founder for this brewery is uh, Jeffrey Tofty and, uh, and Mr. McHale. I'm sorry, I can't remember his first name, but they're uh, the co-founders. Um, oh, scratch it. Uh, he's, he's the co-founder and he's also the brewmaster. Kirk McHale, I'm sorry. I got that information. 
And the production brewer is Dave Chikura. C H I C H U R A. Dave Chikura. I mean, they're, uh, they're basically saying, you know, welcome to Mel Melvin Brewing. This is the beginnings of your wonderful new kung fu friendship between our brew family and all beer lovers alike. Talk of Mer Melvin began on the West Coast, but now it's the heart of Melvin started beating in the small town of Jacksonville, Wyoming, with big ideas and even bigger barrels of hops. Melvin now takes off in the hands of owner Jerry, Jeremy Tofte, T-O-F-T-E, the co-founder and drunken brewmaster Kirk <laughs> McHale. These are their words. We started this business back in, in a Thai, of a, a back of a Thai restaurant with a 20-gallon beer system of making beer in 2010. It's been upgraded to a 100-gallon <laughs> beer system, excuse me, in 2011. Now they have a 30-barrel system with big, shiny tanks and centrifuges and things and all kinds of fancy things like that. They do. Their they're, they're sayings there and those words there come about just like their uh, web page and the names for their brews and the way they treat their beers and, and so forth. So with that said, I'm going to stay here and finish this, this fine beer. My loving wife picked me up the three here so we can, the bag is so big. We'll come, I get the drone up. Some uh, wise cheese noodles, uh, white cheddar. That's a pretty big bag. But uh, she picks up uh, the treats and all you know, the beers too. I do 99% of the time. And I want to thank my loving wife, thank you for getting that. And uh, so, with that said, uh, enjoy the day, folks. Uh, today is a Tuesday, and uh, it's raining in New England. Uh, getting rid of the snow. As you know, it was snowing quite a bit yesterday, but the rain is getting rid of the snow. It's pretty well melted. There are very few spots now. That's nice. Temperatures are about 40 degrees today. That's real nice. 40 degrees. Mm, I'll take it. And so, uh, just going to drink. Drink responsibly and don't drive. So, um, have a good day, folks. Ciao.